Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm at work and um, I have a couple of small tasks that I think it would be okay to share with you. I have some memory that has um, two servers, HP servers, that has uh, wasted each uh, memory block. So we're gonna be exchanging a memory block in at least one server. I might do both of them, but um, I'm gonna start with one of them. And this is a rather big server. This is one of our ESXi hosts and they are based on the HP E. DL 580 generation 8 and that server has four CPUs and they're all 15 cores 2.5 gigahertz or 2.6 I think uh, 15 cores and it has two terabytes of memory so one of those blocks has died and we will have to find out which and exchange that so uh, let's get going Okay, I'm afraid there is too much information on this screen, so I can't bring you very close, but this server that I am changing the memory in is part of a cluster, the production cluster of this location. And that cluster consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hosts in one cluster. So the host that I'm going to be working on has been taken out of the cluster and put into maintenance, which is part of the redundancy that we can do that. We can take out one host and upgrade that. We can also take out one more host, but then it's really starting to be dangerous. Then the resources will be sparsome. I have been over here checking for the memory. I'll just minimize that. And here we can go a bit closer. And I found that the memory block that is uh, degraded is down here in memory board number eight and it's slot number two. So that's the one that we're gonna try to exchange. So I would like to make a note of that. The tool that I'm in here is the ILO adapter of the HPE server. That very clearly shows that that memory block down there is broken and this server consists of 32 gigabyte blocks all of them it's not fully occupied as i see it i think there is some missing this is upgradable so the server can be upgraded to three terabytes of memory without throwing anything out but uh, we're probably not going to be doing that so we're going to go in behind the thick door and see if the server is Booting. This one, it should be shutting down. It's still very. Oh, it's it is actually blinking now, so it has shut down. This server is meant for you can take out this front part where all the memory is in. So we're gonna do that. Oh, maybe it wasn't totally shut down. Now it's not having any network activity. So uh, good thing I waited a little bit. But to uh, Get the memory modules out, you press this big blue thing here. And then there pops out a handle, and you can pull the handle. And you get this thing. You can pull that out for a bit, and then it stops. There is a couple of blue buttons in here that you have to press to uh, get this out. And it's, um, it's kind of heavy, so uh, I'm gonna do that and uh, move it out of the way. So here is the box that contains the CPU and all the RAM of this uh, server. And it's very hard to get this plate off the first time. But a little trick is there's a button up here that you release and then it pops out really easily, but it's really well hidden. I want to make sure that I'm not electrically different than this device that I'm handling, so I'm gonna pop in this anti-static rest band, make sure that I'm the same level as this thing. These are memory cartridges, and they're numbered in the wrong order in my head, because number one is over here, number eight is over here, and I did make a little note here that we have to look at the board number eight, that one, and slot number two. So that should be in here. 
So we press the blue lever and this pops up. And this is the memory cartridge. It has a lot of memory blocks and it opens by pulling this little thing here like that and it opens up. So now I just have to find memory block number two. Also has a battery function so we should be able to press this button and see which memory block is bad. And it blinks up there. That's the one that we have to be worried about. So we're gonna take that one out and exchange with the new one. That, and hopefully they are alike. I'm pretty sure they are. They look very similar. So press the button again, make sure we are taking out the right one, this one. We will put that there. Take this one out of the anti-static bag. Check that they are similar. Both are 32 gigabyte memory blocks. Both are PC3, both are 14,900Ls. Yeah, they look the same. They have some, this one has different a different sticker on it. Let's hope it will work even though the sticker is different. And it has a marker mark. So we'll put that in. Put this one back in the anti-static bag here. You get that out of the way so I don't confuse it. And put this back again. And make sure to put this down the right way. For airflow, you don't have to have all these cartridges in this server. So for airflow, there's a little blue lever down here that flips over when the memory cartridge is not there to um, not have all the air just blowing through the empty slot. So put this in again, you have to flip the air thinky out of the way that and put down the memory cartridge <clears throat> like that check all of them cool put this one back on and we're good to um, try and install this see if it uh, helped This server also has like a pop-out thing here. So it actually tells me here that the memory block is bad. That is memory cartridge number eight and block number two. So uh, this is kind of awesome, right? Put that back in. Okay, I've connected some wires to it here so that I can use the screen that I've put up down here. So let's power this beast on again. There. And it takes a while booting. Here it is. It says 30%. And you can't take this for anything. The those percent is not meaningful. Um, they don't represent the time very well. I'm guessing that it's only like 5% booted or something like that. When it gets up about 66-70% that's when, uh, when we'll know if the memory was any good. Okay, it has uh, initialized the memory and I've completed that. It has uh, HP Smart Memory initialization, so that is also running. It has not told me about any bad memory blocks yet. It will probably switch the screen here in just a second or two. And that will show any bad memory. There we go, it switched the screen. And we have the CPUs here. Oh, 2.5 GHz are live. Sorry about that. Uh, complained about any memory blocks right now and it says that it's able to run on two power supplies awesome two terabytes of memory up here four CPUs a total of 60 volts awesome right and these are the E5 4880s 
Mission 2. So it's probably gonna start VMware now. Also found the two terabytes of memory inside of VMware. So when it does that, it usually works. Inside the ILO adapter, also the memory cartridge number eight, slot number two is all good again. Let's hope um, this lasts. So this was an easy little task, and it went fairly well. There is more things involved in this like making sure that the, the surveillance, we have surveillance on most of our servers here. So um, if I just go in and shut off a server, it will be blinking and bopping and doing weird shit down at the 7 surveillance. Yeah, they would get really pissed at me. They have to know that this server is up and running again in just a little bit. We want to see it running for a little bit of time before we put it back into production, but then it will be good again. Uh, the memory blocks that I got was from HPE, the, the support on the server, they are still under warranty um, and they just sent the memory blocks and we have to return the broken memory blocks, that's as it usually is. They do want to make sure that the stuff we say is wrong is also wrong, so we have to return the bad ones. So, Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye!